In this module, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at something called session hijacking, which is a very, very powerful technique for getting access to something other than your legitimate traffic. The thing about this is it's a very dangerous area to get into. It may be something that's implemented a lot. There are some defenses against it, but it's all around a very, very intimidating technique. When we talk about the idea of hijacking, what we want to do is we want to take a look at what it is. We want to take a look at the difference between spoofing and hijacking, where we're not impersonating someone, we're claiming to actually be someone. We're going to go through the steps involved in it. We'll take a look at the two different types of session hijacking. We'll take a look at performing sequence number predictions. Then we'll talk about TCP IP hijacking specifically, some of the tools that are out there that allow you to perform hijacking, and then what you can do for countermeasures. Session hijacking relies on the fact that we're dealing with a TCP session between two machines. When, since authentication only occurs at the beginning, hijacking allows us to take over as we're in process. The easiest way to think of this would be the old joke of conference call phones. That if I look down at a phone and I see that a light is on and I very delicately pick up the phone and place it to my ear and hit the button to join into that same session, if I'm quiet, I've jumped in in the middle and I could listen to that session. That's sort of what hijacking is going to do, but we'll take a little bit, little bit more in-depth look at it. 